Okay, so I'm going to start by introducing what they view to be the targeted goal, right? And their main goal is basically to defeat the uh, what they call the Atlanticist um, Union, right? So basically, you know, you have countries like the United Kingdom and the United States who they view as the leaders of the Atlanticist Union. Uh, I don't know, they don't use the word union, but that's basically what they mean, right? The Atlantic Ocean, you have the United States and the UK who are, for example, after World War II, uh, they developed the Bretton Woods system, which is like a global economic system. And it was led by two countries, the United Kingdom and the United States, right? Through people like John Maynard Keynes, who's a famous British historian, oh, sorry, economic, uh, British economist. And so the point I want to make here is that their goal is basically to destroy things that are uh, uniting uh, through the leadership of these two nations. Well, now it's more United States, right, than it is UK, but there's no denial that they have a cultural influence. And uh, basically they see uh, NATO, the European Union, their goal is to divide these uh, organizations, these unions, right? NATO is more of a military union, U EU is more of a economic union, and you can see through many of their actions that their goal is to divide these, and I'm going to go into that more. And this is from the book directly. Um, it talks about stuff such as, for example, a Berlin-Moscow axis, right? So, you know, today they usually see uh, Germany as like the leader of the, uh, the European Union. Right? So they want to try to kind of get close to Germany and get them to break away from countries like the UK and the United States. And it's very clear that the United, uh, the UK, through Brexit, has exited the EU, right? And that's so important. That's a huge win for Russia. And you, you know, people don't know, look, Twitter has admitted that Russian trolls targeted the Brexit vote, right? So Russian trolls... Basically, Russia has something called troll factories. It's a real thing. They hire people to post stuff online to influence people's thinking. So generally, it's like, it's actually generally anti-Muslim stuff where they try to make people hate immigrants. So they're like linking immigration to Brexit. And they're like, oh, if we get out of Brexit, we can create our own immigration policy. So, you know, it wanted to target these types of voters. And so Twitter admits that these people actually had an influence on Brexit. And you even have it, they even try to influence Libya, which is weird, right? Not just Libya, every country, United States, they try to, and there's other countries who do this, it's not just Russia, but I'd say Russia has mastered the art. And so they even target countries like Libya, right? Allegedly attempting to interfere in elections, you have, it says here, right? Troll factor is alive and well in Africa, right? That's pretty weird. You, so this is a big thing, and the, uh, their goal was to, they, you know, they succeeded in getting uh, the uh, the Britain to leave the EU, right? If your goal is to destroy the EU, what you want to do is target the big countries, England, France, Germany, right? These are the major ones. So anyways, uh, another thing they do, which is important, is that they target American elections, right? And they, but I'm going to go into that later. I'm going to stop here at British, right? But as you can see, which is interesting, right? Let's find it. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Brit. So let's read this, right? England is geopolitically the least European state whose strategic interests are traditionally opposed to the central European powers and more broadly continental trends in Europe. However, in parallel with the strengthening of the role of the United States and their seizure of almost complete control of the British Islands, the strategic role of England has certainly d diminished. And today, Europe, in Europe, this country acts more as an extraterrestrial, uh, extra territorial floating base of the United States than as an independent force. So, right, that's it. They view England as like uh, basically an extension of the power of the United States. And that is, it's hold on Europe, right? The United States is hold on Europe. That's their view. Um, and you keep going. It says England is the most hostile country to continental interests, right? And they view them as like outside of that, uh, the interests of that uh, region. And this is 
I think one of the most important parts is right here. Uh, okay, here it is, perfect. This is completely unrealistic, and therefore, in the Eurasian project, right, their goal is to unite Europe and Asia in some way. England will inevitably become a scapegoat, since the European process of continental integration will certainly necessarily take place not just without without taking into account British interests, but even in direct opposition to those interests. In this context, a significant role should be played by European and more broadly Euro Eurasian support for Irish, Scottish, and Welsh national. And why? Because their goal is always to support whatever is in opposition, right? So if you're trying to take down England, you want to support Irish nationalism. You want to support nationalism in that area, and they want to promote that through trolls, through whatever means necessary. And up to encouraging separatist in tendencies and political destabilization of Great Britain type and so contributed to the emergence of all Western civilization based on trade, quantity, capitalism, speculation, and the stock market game. This is completely unrealistic and therefore in the Eurasian project, England will inevitably be... Sorry, I don't know what that is. Speculation will inevitably become the scapegoat since the European process of continental integration will necessarily take place, not just without taking into account British interests, but even in direct opposition to these interests. In this context, a destabilization of Great Britain contributed to the emergence of all message civilization. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get more to the point. But as you can see here, their goal is to divide Europe uh, uh, through England. That's one of their targeted goals. And, you know, certainly through Brexit, they have achieved at least maybe not the entirety of the goal, but that's a huge uh, step towards it right and that's it this is, i'm gonna end the part on britain right now